Hello and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to give you a bit of a tour and explain how I use the Asana app on the iPhone. Now, if you have any questions about Asana, the app, please leave me a comment below and let me know what videos you want to see me make. If there's something you want to learn, please let me know in the comments below. And check out details in the description below this video if you're interested in booking a call with me to learn more about my consulting services, if you need help setting up Asana or training your team. And there's details on the in the description about how you can save on your Asana Asana Premium subscription as well. So here I have the Asana app on my iPhone, and I'm just going to explain the different screens and kind of key features. I will just start by saying most of what you can do on the desktop, you can actually do on the app here as well. And I will start by saying as well that the main way that I personally use the app is number one, just to quickly find and check the details of a task. Maybe I'm away from my computer, I don't have access to Asana, so I can use my phone to check and find a task that I'm looking for, maybe there's some information I need. Or the most common reason I personally use the app is for quick entry of tasks. Maybe I have an idea of something I need to do, or I want to add a comment to a task, add a note, I'll quickly open the app and I can quickly enter the task that I wanna remember. The Asana is much easier to use on the web. You can just generally see a lot more. You can see your project and your task at the same time. Obviously with the app, you can click on a task and see the task, but you can't see the project at the same time because it's a smaller screen. But that would be the main way that I use Asana. The app is really for just quick entry of tasks. So the first screen that we're on here is the My Tasks screen. You can see down the bottom left. This is obviously the summary of all the tasks assigned to you that you need to complete. And from here, I can quickly click the plus button to quickly create a new task. And this is the quick entry feature that I was talking about. So I can just write the name of my task. I can click the little arrow there to increase the size of this panel and uh, add more information like the project. Uh, maybe I want to create a subtask, add a description and um, quickly create that task. If I click at the top, I can go into that task. I can add more information, like maybe a due date. I could say this is due tomorrow. And clicking more options down here, I can say um, set this to repeat, or I could, if I'm on a premium subscription, add a start date from here as well. There we go, so now I could add a start date to this task. Some other features on, on, on this kind of task panel, obviously I can click the tick at the top to mark the task as complete. I can like a task, which is quite useful to acknowledge to someone that you've received it or seen it. I can quickly create subtasks from up here, and there's a menu where I can do a bunch of other things like adding tags, change the project, share it, mark the task for later or upcoming, uh, convert it to a milestone, things like that. Down the bottom, we can write comments, which is really useful, and there's all your normal formatting options like bold and inserting bulleted lists as well. And a really useful feature of using Asana on the phone is that I can add images. So if I see something, um, like I want to take a picture of something and add it into the comments, I can actually do that right there and then on the phone. So if I click Add Attachment, I can open up the camera and take my photo and quickly add that as a comment to the task, which is great. Uh, to take this a step further, if you're on the Asana business subscription, if I click on that image and click this little circle tick button at the top, I can then annotate and provide feedback on this image. So I could say this bit needs fixing. Oops, this bit. And so now I've annotated the image. If I go back to my task, you can see it's actually created a subtask um, related to that annotation, to that feedback that I've just provided. So that's great. I've just done that all completely using the phone. If I go back to my tasks, there's a few swipe gestures that are quite useful as well. Obviously, I can swipe left to right to mark the task as complete, or I can swipe uh, right to left on a task to bring up some more options to change the assignee, the date, or what I often do is mark it for today, upcoming, or later. So that's really good. At the top left, if you click your profile, you can see the other workspaces and organizations that you are part of. The ones with orange dots show that there's something in your inbox you need to go and have a look at. And top right, I've got options to uh, ch change the view of this screen, show completed tasks, or change the sorting if I want to sort by due date, things like that. So most of what you can do on the desktop, like I said, you can, you can do that here in the app as well. Now down the bottom, I've next got my inbox screen. This is obviously where I can see and keep up to date with updates that are coming in on Asana. Actually another really useful kind of way of using the app. If you are away from your computer, you can quickly check your inbox and see things that have been completed or comments to reply to. I'm just gonna archive these couple of things. Obviously if I click on a notification, it'll take me to that task. 
On the project screen, I can see my favorite and uh, and all the projects within my account. I can click into a project to um, obviously find more tasks about that project. And actually, if you click the project name at the top, you can view other things like view the project in a calendar view. And you can view the conversations for that project as well. Uh, finally, uh, carrying along down the bottom, next we have portfolios. Obviously, if you have a business subscription to Asana, you can create portfolios. So here's a client portfolio that I've created. And this is really just a dashboard, like an overview of um, the projects that are within the portfolio. And there's a lot of useful information here, like I can see the most recent status, this product project plan is on track. I can see the completion of the project, so accounting is 81% complete. I can see due dates, priority, and any other custom fields that I've added to the project as well. So really nice sort of overview screen for managers or project managers to uh, kind of see the, the status of different projects. And then finally, I've got the search option down the bottom. So if I just type a few letters, I can search for projects and tasks as well. And a final quick tip specifically for iPhone users, from your home screen, if you force press the Asana app icon, you can get a bunch of uh, quick options to do things like quickly create a new task, create a new task with a photo, which will launch the camera, or, and I can quickly get to my inbox as well, as well as just seeing a few um, of the tasks that I have coming up today. I can actually add that widget to my Asana screen, uh, to my iPhone screen as well. So a couple of quick extra benefit, uh, benefits for iPhone users is there. So that's a little bit of a look at the Asana iPhone app. Please let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching this video.